Whew. Take two. <laughs> What's up, you guys? It's your girl, 3C, in the building. And I have a haul. Now, wait till you see what this haul is. And it's divided into three. Three different... You guessed it. Yeah. I think this is gonna be my thumbnail. I think I, I think it'll be my thumbnail. I'll edit it and see. Anyway, let's get into it. So the first bag was this. Yep, I paid $44.38. Now, I'm gonna show you. It came in that bag. This was already like this. And for the purposes of this video, just in case it was busted here, this seam, I haven't even opened it yet. It still got tape on it. I have not opened this yet. So, if when I open it, I will be back and do another video as to whether or not stay tuned for that okay so that was the first bag the second bag i got uh the the three-piece mesh bag and I bought two sets. And the reason I bought these were for um, when I put my notions like scissors and stitch markers and uh, hooks inside of a um, project bag that doesn't have a pocket, boom, instant pockets. So that's why I bought these. So I got two sets. These were $3.48. Timo, let me tell you something. My, my best friend called me today and told me that Tuesday morning is closing the rest of their stores. I wanted to start crying. Uh, it's another store that's closing that she told me. And I, I'm telling you, you guys... I think what it is, is because we're shopping more online than in the regular stores and they're making this stuff so inexpensive, the regular big box stores are losing money. Do not be surprised when we start losing more stores. Don't be surprised. That was just a little sidebar conversation. Moving on. Then I got the a black portable bag. It's not even black. I don't even know why I said that. This is one of those huge bags that you put stuff in. This is the top part of it. And I mean, it's huge with the handles on the side. And I got this because <laughs> we're crocheters we crochet right and when you crochet a lot of stuff you gotta stuff that stuff somewhere unless you give it away now if you're giving it away that's on you i do give some of my stuff away and some i keep like my blankets it depends i do keep a lot of my blankets so so that was five dollars and 48 cents for that um then I got a portable. Hold that thought. Is that right? That was the large capacity bag. It was four dollars and fifty eight cents. Then I got these portable clothes, storage 
with the little window. And I got two of them. These were $5.48. Then I got these quilted storage bags. They were $2.58. They're a smaller kind. They also have the little window. So they're a little smaller, but they still big. <laughs> they're, uh, they're medium size. And I got four of these and they were $2.58. $2.58. Then I got, now this is a dupe. No, I'll stay, I'll save that for last. I'll save that for last. I got a travel, a portable travel bag. This was $3.98. The reason I got this, pretty much the same reason, and I have all the other stuff I'm going to haul and tell you about in it, uh, the same reason, so that I could have everything in one place, <laughs> so it has the mesh pocket on the top of it. with the zipper and it's, it's just a plain cosmetic bag that's it so I got that then I got I got a thousand and one I'm sorry it was a thousand and ten jump rings they came just like this in the little compartment you get individual bags of jump rings. And so they have them in different sizes. So you got the bigger ones and you got the medium ones. And then I have some smaller ones. And then I have some other ones in here. 1,010 jump rings. And of course, the reason why I bought those, I make stitch markers, hello. So I got those, that was $3. This was $3.88 for this, including the container that it came in. So I got that. I got, let me do the little clips. These are the multicolor clips. I'm sorry, the, the 50 piece quilting clips. These were also $3.38. These are the ones when you are attaching um, it's for quilting, it's for sewing when you're attaching fabric to your crochet item because those straight pins just don't cut it for me. <laughs> so that's why I bought these. Again, they were $3.38. The next thing I bought was the, and you guys are gonna head over quickly because now these prices are going up, believe it or not, because everybody's buying it. I got, and I'm doing it in this order for a reason. I got the 300 piece stitch markers, 300, $3.49. So even if you decide, like me, sometimes I don't wanna use my stitch markers that I make. Sometimes I just wanna grab one of these and pop it on there and keep moving. $3.49, that ain't bad. That's why, oh, that's why I got two of them. In the case, I haven't even opened them. It came just like this, $3.49. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. <laughs> yeah, I'll take that. Thank you. <laughs> 
Then I got the I did the pins. I got these because I used them as paper clips. You can use them for the corner of your book. See? So I got those. I do a lot of reading and research. And so, and these were a five pack for $1.58. They came in a five pack, as you can see, for $1.58. That was a steal. Ah. So, the next thing I got was these little pen clips. I absolutely love them. Uh, they're good for like when you're on the go and you have a meeting and you you don't like putting your pen down. <laughs> you clip it onto the paper that you're writing on like this. You take your pen And you keep moving. Because you know somebody always trying to take your pen if you put it down. This is how you keep them from taking it. So I got three of those for 79 cents. It was a three-piece set. I'm sorry. No, I was right. 79 cents. I'm thinking about something else. Now, these. I am absolutely in love with. These are stitch markers. They're called a three piece, 31 piece mixed Tibetan silver chimes. They were a dollar and 79 cents. And I think someone else came on here on YouTube and hauled theirs. Um, they have, um, Little eyeglasses, and I'm gonna haul these in a minute. Little eyeglasses, <laughs> I thought those were cute. Little scissors, and they have the little yarn uh, ball as well. I'm trying to open them up so I can show you. Here's a little yarn ball. I thought they were just adorable just adorable so i got two bags of those they were again one dollar i think they were a dollar and 79 cent i said if i forget any prices i'll list it because i'm gonna edit the video it's 13 minutes oh my god moving on moving on Then I got this funky little bookmark. I thought it was cute. I told you I'm into bookmarks. It's called the zipper bookmark. It was a dollar and 38 cent. You just, <laughs> you read in your book. It doesn't work or move. It's just, you put it inside your book, boom. <laughs> I thought it was cute. I love it. Uh, then I got the women's. Uh, these are called uh, four foot pads. It's your, for the forefront of your foot. They were 80 cents. And you put it in the forefront of your shoe. It's a pair, and they were 80 cents each. I got four pair, and it's to keep your feet, you know, the ball of your foot when you've been in heels all day. <laughs> what you think they're going to do? They're going to be burning, huh? Now, that was a non-crochet, non-crafty uh, item, but I had to 
get my girls in on that. Come on. I also got, this is also a non-crafting item, but that's neither here nor there. K-Cups. Now, you know, you shop and you, if you have a Keurig, you're spending anywhere from six to $12 on K-Cups. I'm not doing that no more. I have gone back to buying ground coffee because it's cheaper. And I decided to get me some reusable, refillable. Yes, ma'am. They came six in a box. A six pack for $5.58. That's right. You're going to pay about $6, six dollars and something for one of these at your local store. I guarantee you walk in the store and price it. I'll wait. Not. This is the mesh. You're going to put your coffee. Of course, you know how to do it. If you got a cape, if you got a carrot, come on. Pop it back on. You don't need to use a, th those little filters. Boom. And it even comes with the measuring cup. For five dollars and forty listen. Listen. You better go get you one. I'm telling you, Timu is they are now going up on their prices though. Because they're seeing the demand. And people are what they're doing, and you can look at any video on YouTube. What pe creative people are doing. They're buying that stuff in bulk and reselling it at a higher price. Now, that's what's going on. I'm telling the secrets, aren't I? It ain't a secret if you got it on YouTube. Come on now. This is a... Um, these I got because the same reason for the other ones. Um, I like... Um, I like getting uh, little markers for uh, when I'm doing, when I'm making wearables. And that way I can use more than just one or two. These were, these were 98 cents. 98 cent i found them 98 cent so i got these couldn't beat it all right then these are all the fashion now honey i got the bubble shoes yes i did i know these were eight dollars and 98 cent now mind you they are going up so if you, if I were you, I get on Timu or wherever you see them sold. Cause they're going up in price. Those were eight dollars. Now they're about ten, twelve dollars. Every day the price is going up. So I got those, and I I think I saved. Oh no, I didn't. The the before I get to that one, cause that was also in this bag. This was the last package. Scissors. These are stainless steel scissors. They were 79 cents each. I got two of them. These are the ones with the little safeguard. You can never have too many. And then these also have the little thing that you can... And then you put it back down. So, yeah. I got those. Good price. I need scissors all the time. I, The way that I crochet is kind of like I got it from Krista of the Secret Yarnery. Is the way that she does. She puts all of her projects in a little cart, carrying cart. And she puts everything she needs in each one as she's doing them. And that's how I do mine. I love it. 
It's easy for me. You grab your hook, it's in there. You grab your stitch marker, stay in there. You grab your pair of scissors, you go to the next one. That one has, uh, yeah. So, um, the last thing that was in that second one, and I'm done. 20 minutes. The dupe. It feels just like leather. It almost smell like, we know it's not. It is the exact replica of the name not mentioned on the bottom. <laughs> Everyone has hauled these. I pay $15 and 28 cents. Everyone that has hauled these on uh, YouTube, have said the exact same thing that I just said. Oh, and you get the strap that comes with it. They have said the exact same thing that I just said. It looked just like the, the original. It's a We know it's a dupe. But <laughs> if I can get it for less than, and she did. So that is my Timu haul. I hope you enjoyed it. Been trying to haul this stuff for the last couple of days, and you know my my phone said no capacity, and I had to go to delete and stuff. So, but thank you so much for watching. To all my new subbies, hello! Thank you so much for subbing my channel and stopping by for lurkers. Thank you also. I appreciate it. I do. I like lurkers. Come on in. Sat down a spell. You might learn something. Um, stay tuned for more videos like this one. Uh, go check out my previous videos that I've uploaded uh, for your looking and listening entertainment. And uh, yeah, tell me what you think. Would you shop on Timu if you have not already? And if you have, what do you think about their prices? What do you think about the inexpensiveness because i can tell you now yeah we know where it's coming from but if you look on amazon and you type in any of this stuff amazon gonna charge you more why oh i don't understand timo's only charging five dollars for that but amazon is charging 20. they need to get a cut come on what do you think? They're doing the same thing third party people do. They're doing the same thing that when you go on Walmart and you're looking for something and you see five different names of people come up, where do you think they're getting it from? I wait. Looking on the floor, looking, mm hmm Where do you think they're getting it from? You know, let, let's talk uh, uh, trade and, and all of that. Because one bag came from California and another bag came from Dallas, Texas. Because I always track. And that's what Timo does. They give you a tracking number and they let you see where it's coming from. So that's all to this haul. Um, you know, don't be shocked when you go and type in stuff on Amazon and then go to Timu and you see it at a lesser price on Timu. That's where Amazon getting it from. From them. And that's where they always been getting it from. From them. And they buy it in bulk. And as the demand go, did you take, hold on, let me ask y'all something. Did y'all take, um, macroeconomics in college did you take microeconomics in college so you know the law of supply and demand right okay because if you know that law then you'll know why stuff goes up when the demand is high the more people want the more the price goes up the less people want Don't be shocked. 
when my best friend called and told me that Tuesday mornings was closing the rest of and the remainder of their stores, it hurt my heart because I, I still was giving them money. I still supported them. Why? Because I liked the store. But at the same time, I can't get too upset because I've been shopping online. And the more we shop online and the less we go into the big, big department stores, the big box stores, guess what happens to their sales? And the doors close. So that's just some, I gave you some food for thought, didn't I? Come on, education on Sunday. See you in the next video.